My name is Timothy, Timothy Trespass. And I'd like to speak to you for a minute about Morgellons, Lyme disease, and the results of whatever was, is being done to me and many of you. Uh, specifically, uh, neurological, neurocognitive deficits that occur uh, with the one eye bigger than the other disease. Now, one eye bigger than the other is either a genetic, a telltale genetic marker, or possibly and, it is, is a result of uh, damage to uh, some of the nerves that make the face move, the trigeminal nerve and some others that travel down the face, or if not nerve damage itself, then damage to the neuronal structures in the brain that control those nerves. Um, the facial palsy and uh, other Alzheimer's-like symptoms, shaking and stuff. Um, wow. Just as an aside, this, can you see it on here? I can't see if you can see it. Camera, tree, stuff. Okay, there's the stuff. Can we see through the stuff? What is the stuff? Well, the stuff, I love to touch things. Where is it? Tree, can't see in the sunlight here. Hold on, do little -do -do tree, stuff. Oh yeah. This, my friends, is amber in the making. Basically, it's tree sap from this beautiful tree. Um, I'm gonna pass out now from the change in systolic and diastolic pressure due to the medication I take. Anyway, um, one of the things I wanted to mention was, was, was uh, sequential thinking and multitasking. Uh, it seems that many times it, uh, I am no longer able to multitask due to a very specific set uh, of damages or deficits. Short-term memory loss, in other words, working short-term memory. What did you just say? What did you just think? What were your intentions a moment ago? What are you about to do? What information did you just receive? Can you repeat it? Um, also, multitasking, being able to do that same set of tasks uh, in, in two levels, you know, two different or, or more than two uh, different words, concepts, ideas, whatever, it becomes very difficult. Under stress, I've noticed that when under stress, the anger reaction, the frustration tolerance, now this could be partially due to, uh, you know, ongoing traumatic stress uh, which, and massive sleep deprivation, which leaves you unable to, uh, you know, that, that space, my, my language is not so good anymore because of the temp parietal lobe damage I have. Um, but that, that's patience, that space, that ability to process the information the sequential nature of stressful information becomes overwhelming and the response to the stressful uh, stimulus becomes frustration and anger and the more frustrated and anger you become angry you become when reacting to a stressful situation uh, the less able you are to process information make proper decisions uh, give yourself that, that, see, in anger there's the fight or flight, right? Do we survive? Do we run away? Do we attack? Right? 
and depending on our nature and our past experience, uh, our choice is, you know, in our brain wiring. So, excuse me, um, the fight or flight response, the adrenaline kicks in and uh, I'm just, you know, off the top of my head, I can't tell you if this is upregulation of the hypothalamus or, or what. It's um, anger, frustration, stress triggers more anger and frustration, makes you less able to multitask, less able to process the information and make uh, helpful, healthy, rational decisions based on the information. So you end up doing things like screaming, shut up, leave me alone, ah! you know, give me a minute. Ah! Uh, this happens frequently with Petra and I because we're under constant stress. Uh, all right, I gotta see. My lobotomy, a memoir. I was given the lobotomy at 12 years old. Invented the ice pick lobotomy. Uh, he doesn't know why he did it. When he turned 54, he went looking for the answer. Why did they give him a lobotomy? It's a good question. I'd like to read that book, but my ability to read has been severely compromised. Um, I used to be able to read four or five books at a time. I was always rotating them uh, and learning and reading. And Now I'm lucky if I can read five or ten minutes uh, of information at a time and a lot of it I forget. Um, the ability to learn new things has been compromised. Um, I've noticed that my language skills, my dyslexia, which I've had since I was born with the umbilical cord in a knot and then given 16 vaccinations over a period of a year or so as an infant, which made me tremendously sick. Horrible earaches, horrible headaches, um, kind of like what I'm suffering now. And, uh, but I guess for a different causality. Now I forgot what I was saying. Oh well. Um, anyway, back to the original neuroanatomy thing. The, the, so I'm thinking about this as a... What do they call it? I don't remember the name for this type of weapon. Uh, an incapacitating agent. I was reading some military documentation about the testing and use of Lyme disease as an incapacitating agent and, you know, add to that uh, the ability to manipulate, rewrite, or write for yourself a genetic code and insert that into living organisms and or create organisms uh, with that code, you know, totally new organisms. She's cooking. Okay, so I assumed that that was some kind of, uh, I don't want to know. It's all kinds of goings on here, but I'm sure they weren't talking about food. Um, anyway, again, see, the ability of an individual to carry out sustained tasks, um, to put together large amounts of, of technical information, um, and to present that information to themselves and others in a way that reaches a valid uh, conclusion is seriously compromised. And as with Alzheimer's, when it continues, the disease progresses and the damage progresses, is not arrested, cannot be re, you know, the neuroplasticity of the brain has no opportunity to even be trained because it's constantly challenged by the disease and necrosis and toxicity of necrosis. So the individual is left, you know, I don't know, I have to talk to some Alzheimer's patients who probably don't remember. I've been told that it's like uh, every day you could watch the same movie because you've never seen it before. 
Every day could be your birthday if people are willing to throw you a party, and it will be just as much fun as if it really were your birthday. Um, God bless all of us, especially those of us who are suffering under this or any regime. Thanks for watching.